With version 72, Microsoft has integrated Windows 7 into the Quest so you can remote stream your desktop PC or your cloud PC into your Quest as you see on screen. Currently supports up to three screens and it also has pass through for audio as well. So to get this going is really quick and easy. All you got to do is make sure that you're running version 72. So inside your Quest, go to settings and then go down all the way to the bottom. You should see software updates. If uh, there's software update updated, you can see mine is version 72 over there. So uh, that's the correct version. Once you are in 72, the other thing you need to do is you need to go down to experimental over there, that option and select pair to PC with Microsoft mixed reality. This needs to be ticked for this to work. And those are the two settings in your quest. So we'll head on over now to your PC so you can store that out. Okay, this is the web page. I'll leave a link in the description for you to go in and download. So you just scroll down all the way to the bottom and on your PC here, you need to actually install the mixed reality uh, link app. So that's available in the Microsoft store. So if you haven't already installed that, install that on your PC. So just click on that. It'll then ask you a few questions, allow, and then install that on your PC or your desktop PC or cloud PC. And once you've installed it, you can click on open. The first screen you'll see here is a QR code and it'll mention scan the QR code with your MetaQuest headset. And then uh, you'll be able to link your desktop or your cloud PC with your headset. So let's go ahead and do that inside the Quest. What you do then is select what you want, so Windows 11 or Mac OS, uh, and then select that and then say get. This is the Windows app that actually, I believe, installs on your Quest itself. So you select this and installs the Windows app here. Uh, you then will wait a bit install until it completes installing. Okay, and then once it's installed, you just say allow the Windows app to discover your PCs and then allow uh, access over here and then scan the QR code. So you say scan QR code and then the QR code on your PC, it then pairs it to your headsets as well. So once the pairing's done, it only does that once and you can connect to your desktop through your headset, which is really cool. So uh, as I mentioned, it does display three uh, audio from the computer onto your headset and it displays up to three monitors. These monitors can be positioned anywhere you want. In terms of the devices, uh, obviously you can use your wired keyboard and mouse with this. It doesn't support uh, if you connect a Bluetooth wireless, uh, Bluetooth keyboard and mouse connected to your headset, it doesn't allow that, but you can connect the Bluetooth heads, uh, keyboard and mouse to your laptop or your PC. And then obviously you can go wherever you have the range of the Bluetooth. So, uh, for example, if you're on a plane or you would like to go around the house and uh, use your PC or those three large screens, you can do that as well. So I actually took it outside uh, to my living room and I've got the MX uh, Keys Mini connected through Bluetooth to my desktop, which is another room. Uh, to connect, it'll just come up with a little blue pop-up at the bottom. You can see the screens here. So you can see the screen there in the front is my computer. And then you can just add the monitor, which adds it to the right and then you can position it and resize it how you want it. The other one it does it to the left as well. Um, one thing I did notice with the mouse is it got the position of the screens really well uh, compared to Emerst and um, some of the other tools like virtual desktop. It actually, uh, you can see my mouse cursor on the left actually goes right through and picks it up really well. So the integration is really good. Um, the other thing is it that did really well was the connection to my PC was seamless. Um, and this is me back at my desk over here. So just on the pass through with the audio. So when you see on the bottom right there, the audio actually comes through from your PC to your headset, uh, head headphones. Uh, so that plays out on your Quest 3. I would imagine that if you had Bluetooth headphones connected to your Quest, you would also 
be able to hear the audio come through. So this was great for things like Teams calls, uh, where you want the audio. I'm not sure on how the microphone will work. Uh, so that's something that, um, yeah, if you are testing it, leave a comment below if you're testing Teams, because I think this would be one of the productivity things that PC people would look for. The other thing, obviously, is encryption between your Quest and your uh, your headset uh, is, um, sorry, your computer is going through, obviously, Microsoft service. So it's a little bit more trusting than using a third-party application or company. As you know, it's larger. Um, so, yeah, guys, the other thing I just want to say is, uh, obviously, try it out for yourself and see how you go with it. And, uh, yeah, if you liked the video, give a like and put a comment below if you have any questions. Until next time, catch you later.